Hi, I'm Jeremy. Today I'm going to take a look at a speed pattern recognition game by the name of Dolly Do. Uh, this is a nice small box card game. Uh, it plays in about 10 to 20 minutes or so for 2 to 6 players. The box's age is 8 and up. Maybe younger players would be able to, to play it as well. It is designed by Jacques Zemay, who's done a lot of uh, games in this vein. Uh, several I can think of off the top of my head, and is published by Dre Majerspiel. So uh, this is a German edition of it, although I think it might be an, actually an international edition. It has English rules in the box. So it's a pretty simple game. I'll take a few minutes to demonstrate how it plays, and I'll come back and let you know what I think about Dodolito. The only components in Dodolito are going to be this uh, stack of cards, and I should note that these cards have you know, just various animals on them in different colors, as well as a few special animals in there, such as, you know, there's a crocodile in there, and then a turtle in there. Those will change the rules a little bit. But what you'll do at the start of the game is you will simply shuffle these out to uh, players, or deal these out to players, so each player has an equal number of them. If you have an odd number of cards left, you'll just return those to the box. Players will keep those cards in front of them in a pile, and the object is to play them all. Uh, you'll be playing to three central piles, and just keep rotating which pile you're playing to, and play them all and get rid of all the cards that are in front of you. The first player who accomplishes that will win the game. So, um, on your turn, what you're going to do is you're going to flip up one card to the, to, the t to the table, and then you're going to make a declaration about what you see among the cards in front of you. So you could either see a strict majority, a single strict majority. You could see multiple strict majorities of cards, you know, the characteristics of cards. You could see no, no majority, or um, you could see one of the special cards. So those are the, the uh, possibilities. So when you flip up your first card, here we have a flamingo. There's no majority because there's nothing that we could compare it to. So this uh, flamingo is here. And the player who flipped it up now has to give their answer. And you have about three seconds to do this. And players could you know, kind of referee you as far as keeping you honest with that. And if you say the wrong thing, you can't correct yourself midstream. You have to you know, give one word answer in most cases immediately and also be correct. So otherwise you'll take the cards that have been played out back and put them in your pile, which is difficult to you know, get rid of all your cards if you keep doing that. So here you would say not, because there's not any majority anywhere. So now when we flip this up, again, there's not any majority, so we would say not, because again, we have two different animals, two different colors. So nothing has a single strict majority. Flip up a card, and now we have something interesting. So now we have a majority here. We have a majority here, right? So there's a penguins are common. You know, I guess a commonality might be a better way to say it. There's a commonality of penguins, a commonality of, of white cards, but there's no single one. So now what you do is you actually say the game's name. So Dodolito, you would say here. That would be the correct answer. And then you flip up another card just to replace the first one again, so you just keep going around. So, now the correct answer would be uh, Dodolito again, but because, you know, we have still penguins and we have green. Moving along, we have now this turtle here, which again will change the rules even further. So whenever there's a turtle card present, and if there's more than one, you have to do this more than once, you have to say, oh. So because turtles are slow, they say, oh, before they give their answer. So that's... Um, that also means that if you ever say, oh, before you give your answer, uh, and there's no turtle present, you've, you've also fouled. So, oh, white would be the correct answer, because you can see here there's one majority, and it's white. So now we flip again. Oh, flamingo, you would say. Oh, blue. Blue. So you see, I did not say O there because there's only blue here. The, you, the turtle is now covered up. You can't say O. So you just keep going around like this until um, one of two things happen. Either a player makes a foul, has to take all the cards, or until one of the special cards, the uh, crocodile, comes up. So we'll see if that happens. O, blue. O, green. O, dodolito. Again, we have blue and we have zebras. Zebras. O white. O white. O not. Because again, we have three different animals, so there's no majority, and we have three different colors. 
So now here is the uh, crocodile, the uh, special card, the crocodile. Flip it around so you can admire the cute art. Um, and whenever the crocodile comes out, all players basically have to slap it. You uh, slap out that crocodile. So every player will basically slap the card. Whichever player has their hand on top, so the last player to slap down, will have to take all the cards. So that will, even if you're playing with a really gr good group, eventually all the cards will get cleared out and you'll start again. So just for the purposes of demonstration, I'll just show you one more uh, round in what would be, you know, something approximating real time. I'm sure I'll make a mistake before long. Oh, not. Oh, not. Oh, not. Oh, blue. Oh, not. Oh, not. Pink. 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 <laughs> zebra. Nope. There, I made a mistake. That should have been Dodolito because you have two pink, two zebra, so there's no single strict majority. So I would have to take all those cards, add them to my pile. Just one more for the road. Let's just do it so I could show you again what else might happen during the game. Oh, not. Oh, not. Oh, not. Not. Oops. Flamingos. Dodolito. Oh, yellow. Oh, do oh not. So that would be a foul there because it, it's a not. I was saying a Dodolito. And just to be clear, if... E oh, camel... If ever you have more than one uh, turtle come up, so let's say, you know, I had this, and then I flipped another turtle card, so let's say, you know, this was the situation. Flip one more turtle card. Now I have to say, oh, oh, white. Or, oh, oh, not. No, actually, that would be, oh, oh, turtles. So you can see it's very easy to make mistakes um, because the rules are constantly changing. And again, you always have to be careful if that crocodile comes out. You shouldn't be you know, concentrating. You should be acting. So, like I said, you just play until one player runs out of cards. That player will be the winner of Dodolito. Okay, so that is Dodolito, that embarrassing uh, demonstration of my lack of concentration. So this is, uh, like I said at the uh, top of the review here, this is uh, designed by Jacques Zimet, uh, or Zimet. And he does a lot of games in this vein. He's done games, you know, like Cockroach Poker is probably his most famous game, but he has a lot of these uh, games that are published by Dre Modger Spiel. Um, and several of them are very, very similar to this. One Cockroach Salad, or Kakerlak and Salad, is a game that is... Similarly like this, you flip up cards and just recognize a pattern, have to say certain things as the cards are flipping up, which will change over the course of the game. So it's a game that requires a lot of concentration. Another game I think he released just last year by the name of The Nasty Seven has uh, you flipping up gangster cards and uh, responding differently to uh, what you see on those cards. So it requires, again, similar concentration and also other players to really referee you. And I happen to like these sorts of games a lot. I think that they're kind of love them or hate them. Uh, but for me, they're like really fun, really social, uh, light games. So uh, Don Lido, I think I probably like a little bit less than I like the Nasty 7, which I thought was a little bit uh, more funny because you had players mumbling and you had uh, more character, I thought, in that game. This, I feel like, A, the recognizing the patterns is slightly easier than it was in the past game. Um, maybe this is more complex than Kakerlak and Salad. Um, but I feel like if I'm only you know, when I was demonstrating the video, I did make mistakes, but I feel it's easier to not make mistakes if you're only pl responding to your one card because you could kind of see what's coming around and be ready to respond um it just takes a lot of the pressure off uh but uh, you know the nasty seven i feel like is is a game where i i'm more likely to make a mistake which is why you're playing this game just to see people mess up so um this you know it's a very inexpensive game it's a it's a game that you would have a lot of fun with with a, a group with the right mindset so it's it's certainly certainly something i would recommend um it was just uh, recommended, actually, by the uh, Spiel des Jahres, or J German Game of the Year j jury. So um, I'm sure it will probably be more readily available since it's gotten that citation. Uh, and I think that, you know, for what it is, it's very fun. It's probably not something I'd want to play over and over. It's just, you know, a nice little filler, something to pop out every once in a while. And I think, you know, 
given that I have a couple of the games like this from Jacques Zemet, um, I think that this uh, fits in well with those games. You know, I so I don't feel like I'm always playing the same one. I like having multiple games of this type in my collection. So those are my thoughts on Dodolido, and thanks for watching.